Hello and welcome to this presentation of the STM32 Nested Vectored Interrupt Controller, or NVIC. We will be presenting the features of this controller. The Interrupt Controller belongs to the Cortex-M33 CPU, enabling a close coupling with the processor core. The main features are 109 interrupt sources, 16 programmable priority levels, low latency exception and interrupt handling, automatic nesting, power management control. When Trust Zone is enabled, the V8M NVIC handles both secure and non-secure interrupt sources. Applications can benefit from dynamic prioritization of the interrupt levels, fast response to requests, thanks to low latency responses and tail chaining, as well as from vector table relocation. When Trust Zone is enabled, the NVIC handles both secure and non-secure interrupt sources and two SysTick timers are available, one per security level. All interrupts, including the core exceptions, are managed by the NVIC. The NVIC and processor core interface are closely coupled, which ensures a low interrupt latency and enables the efficient processing of late arriving interrupts. Access to the NVIC's control and status registers is performed through the private peripheral bus, OPPB, internal to the Cortex-M33 CPU. The NVIC provides a fast response to interrupt requests, allowing an application to quickly serve incoming events. An interrupt is handled without waiting for the completion of a long instruction sequence. These instructions will be either restarted or resumed upon the interrupt return. The priority assigned to each interrupt request is programmable and can be dynamically changed. The vector table containing the address of the exception handlers can also be relocated, which allows the system designer to adapt the placement of the interrupt service routines to the application's memory layout. For instance, the vector table can be relocated in RAM. Software is in charge of assigning a priority level to each interrupt as well as to all exception sources, not including reset, non-maskable interrupt or NMI, and hard fault. Whenever a peripheral interrupt is requested at the same time as a supervisor call instruction is executed, the relative priority of these hardware and software exceptions will dictate which one will be taken first. Concerning the STM32L5, NMI is caused by an SRAM parity error, a flush double ECC error or clock failure. The priority of any of the 109 peripheral interrupt requests is programmable in a dedicated priority field located in Cortex-M33 NVIC registers. The NVIC provides several features for efficient handling of exceptions. When an interrupt is served and a new request with higher priority arrives, the new exception can preempt the current one. This is called nested exception handling. The previous exception handler resumes execution after the higher priority exception is handled. A microcode present in the Cortex-M33 automatically pushes the context to the current stack and restores it upon interrupt return. When an interrupt request with lower or equal priority is raised during execution of an interrupt handler, it becomes pending. Once the current interrupt handler is finished, the context saving and restoring process is skipped and control is transferred directly to the new exception handler to decrease interrupt latency. So back-to-back -back interrupts with decreasing priorities are chained with a very short latency of a few clock cycles. When an interrupt arrives, the processor first saves the program context before executing the interrupt handler. If the processor is performing this context-saving operation when an interrupt of higher priority arrives, the processor switches directly to handling the higher priority interrupt when it's finished saving the program context. Then tail chaining will be used prior to executing the IRQB interrupt service routine. When all of the exception handlers have been run and no other exception is pending, the processor restores the previous context from the stack and returns to normal application execution. When a fault occurs while executing either the bus fault handler or the memory management fault handler or the usage fault handler, the processor escalates this event to the hard fault handler. Note that bus fault, memory management fault and usage fault have to be explicitly enabled. 
By default, any fault leads to the hard fault handler. When a fault occurs while executing the hard fault handler, the processor enters a state named lockup. It asserts the lockup output to indicate that it has encountered a serious non-recoverable error. In the STM32L5 microcontroller, this lockup output is internally connected to timer break inputs so that a safe state can be entered when the STM32L5 is used to control a power electronic equipment such as a motor. When trust zone is active, both secure and non-secure partitions will be executed by the Cortex-M33. The secure partition is in charge of assigning the secure attribute of all interrupt sources. When an interrupt source is programmed as secure, all its related control and status register fields are read as zero and cannot be written by non-secure software. The secure partition can read and write register fields related to non-secure interrupts by using an offset of 0 times 20,000 to access the non-secure register instances. For example, if the secure partition configures the SPI3 peripheral as non-secure, it has to write 1 to bit 3 of the NVICIT and S3 register. By default, all interrupt sources are considered to be secure. The non-secure kernel and secure kernel have separate vector tables. The vector table contains the addresses of all the exception handlers. The vector table offset register, VTOR, that contains the base address of the vector table is banked, one per security level. General purpose registers are not banked. Therefore, their contents shall be cleared on any transition from secure to non-secure to avoid that secure information present in these registers is accessible from the non-secure partition. When a non-secure interrupt occurs while a secure partition is active, the contents of all general purpose registers is automatically saved into the secure stack and then the microcode writes zero to these registers. When accessing the NVIC registers, ensure that your code uses a correctly aligned register access. Unaligned access is not supported for NVIC registers as well as all memory mapped registers located in the Cortex-M33. An interrupt becomes pending when the source asks for service. Disabling the interrupt only prevents the processor from taking that interrupt. Make sure the related interrupt flag is cleared before enabling the interrupt vector. Before relocating the vector table using the VTOR register, ensure that fault handlers, NMI and all enabled interrupts are correctly set up on the new location. The NVIC is linked with the timers, Cortex-M33 CPU and Trust Zone modules. Please refer to the related presentations. For detailed information, please refer to the programming manual for the Cortex-M33 core and the reference manual for the STM32L5.